Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watt Solds which will be for last weekend, March 8th through the 10th. Sales were in. It's all right. I'm still getting a little spanking from being on vacation. It just seems that's how it works for me. I'm not saying it's that way for everybody but a lot of times when I you know don't do my regular routine of listing sell similar you know, end and sell similar, uh, you doing sales, all of that type stuff. My, my listings, my, my sales seem to take a dip. Um, and it was a lot of bread and butter, y'all, a lot of clothes. You know, if you don't do clothes, I'd encourage you to contemplate that because do something easy. Jeans. Jeans are so easy to list. You know, we have that board. I've talked about it before. You, you guys used to see it, but now it's sitting over here. But, um, you know, we use utility cloth on it and jeans stick to it. And it's just easy, you know, take a picture of the front, take a picture of all the tags, take a picture of any defects that you see, flip them over, take a picture of the back. Um, and then we just use a yardstick and we, you know, measure the waist, measure the inseam and measure the, the length. What's it called? Oh no, the rise. Um, and you know, it makes a difference when things are a little bit slow in one category, clothes. Clothes tend to do pretty steady for us. And then, I mean, sometimes like this past week, it was a lot of clothes. So, you know, just, just a thought, you know, if you don't do clothes, jeans and shorts tend to be a good complement to our what sold most weekends or most weeks. So, all right, I think I'll go ahead and get this going. Y'all, we have a new monitor, so if things look different, we've had to manipulate the size of the screens and everything because it was weird. It was just weird. So Robert's got it set up. I am going to be able to now show my condition notes. Somebody had made a comment that, you know, they wish they could see it. But at some point, eBay switched the screen around a little bit, and my my picture-in-picture -picture was covering it up. So... Now it seems to be back to normal. We'll start with Mercari. I had sales on Mercari, Poshmark, and then of course on eBay. Um, if you're new to my channel, everything gets listed on eBay first. And then I use List Perfectly to cross list those um, listings that I want into the other platforms, Mercari and Poshmark. I've gone through most platforms, well, a lot of platforms. Um, I'm taking a break from Etsy right now. I've done Bonanza, um, Facebook Marketplace. Um, so, but I'm down to right now, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And a lot of things I'm, you know, my, my catchphrase, get it gone. I went through our listings last year and I marked everything that was older than a year. So now as I get offers, in any of the platforms, if it was listed before the beginning of last year, I'm taking offers and I'm sending out 20, 30 percent offers on Likers because I just, I want to move this old inventory. There's no use just list it and forget it anymore. You've got to be a lot more proactive. All right, so on Poshmark, um, this was a Winnie the Pooh McDonald's toy. You know, right now I'm listing a whole bunch of stuff that was in my profit piles that's just accumulated over the years. I'm hitting it hard and probably is seeing 25 plus items every day just trying to get, um, and I've made major indents in my um, shelves down here because all of this down here is my unlisted with a few exceptions. Um, and then as I list them, I take them over to my building. But, you know, I'm I'm very happy with the progress. Yard sale season's getting ready to start for us here. So I need to do one more big push to get stuff situated so that I have plenty of room for the incoming stuff. Hopefully starting this next weekend. 
but this sold for six dollars fisher price little people burt bed this was from the um highway 127 sale i bought a huge box of little people and tons of sesame street stuff was in there and the bed i took an offer of five dollars and 25 cents nylon duck easter basket sold for an offer of eleven dollars on mercari and last but not least was this tie pillow pals love to pick pillow pals up and plushies in the tie babies those are the three things that i i will consistently pick up um, in the tie brand um, this spotty the dalmatian dog sold for twenty dollars two sales on poshmark to share with you these were some page women's jeans sold for nineteen dollars and these lucky brand women's jeans sold for nineteen dollars and then ebay lots of bread and butter lots of clothes to share with you guys if you're new to my channel i don't do free shipping so when i say something sold for eleven dollars and 41 cents um the buyer also paid additional for sh the shipping now these were some can can women's jeans we found a whole bag of jeans i just decided even though it's still cold around here for the most part i'm um, to go ahead and get them listed this month and they sold very quickly i was surprised and as you can tell there's condition issues you know they still sold for eleven dollars and 41 cents and then these levi's women's cutoff shorts sold for twelve dollars and five cents now i ain't understanding why it's showing 1141 but it sold for 1205 don't know i think whatever price is popping up there is what it would have been if it was on sale but it, obviously it sold when it wasn't on sale yet or i had made a small offer on it and then peeps the rabbits um i like to pick them up i put them in lots these two were different you know just the the tie-dye type stuff so i just kept them in their own lot and they sold in a little over a month for ten dollars and 49 cents this is glass tumbler lot i think i picked up it was either a lot of six or a lot of eight each of the flowers were just a little bit different color in sets of two this might be the first set that has sold and they've been listed a really long time nine dollars and 33 cents make it gone right blaster g-force i had never heard of this movie it is disney and it sold for eight dollars and 96 cents matthew c algebra again homeschool curriculum i think i picked this up somewhere because i know i've already sold ours um this is just the dvd for that curriculum and it sold for eleven dollars and 66 cents this is a green frog. Oh, Carson. That doesn't even look right. Peary Scott Company. No clue. Sold for $11.43. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog. This was a Ben's pickup that I listed in January and it was from 2000. Sold for $20.20. Gunned Teddy Bear from 1986 sold for $11.66. Oh, the same person that bought that gun also bought Boswell, and she paid $8.05 for that also. Old listings. Um, this was the Pyrex coffee pot that I shared with you guys from a recent estate sale. I paid $10 for the whole thing. I think I'm down to one piece left. Um, this, just the pot itself, sold for $11. Y'all, the, the gold in these glass percolators is that stem that goes in the center that, like, the water comes up and goes into the, the ground, coffee grounds. I sold the one to this pot, which there's different size pots, so make sure you're, you know, there's a four cup, there's a six cup, I think there's an eight cup um, coffee pot on that metal rim that goes around the center of that pot there is a number which was seven seven five six 
um, that stem for this pot sold for $45. So definitely worth picking them up. Um, and the pot sold for $11. More jeans. These are Chico's Platinum. These sold for $16.81. Or shorts I think these were from that no these have been listed a while um, this is the wallflower brown brand around here I live in a very rural area these are what we find a lot of the Lee's the Chico's wallflower um, Levi's lots and lots of Levi's but a lot of it is contemporary um, just lots of regular brands and we can get them for very cheap and as you can see, you know, they sell for us. These jeans sold for $9.68. Picolino's Open Toe Shoes. This was from an estate sale um, with my favorite little estate sale company. I think all the shoes, some of the shoes I bought, we went several days. Um, they were $2, and then on half price day, I got a, even more for a dollar. So I'm not sure which one I paid on these. Um, but they sold for $20. Eileen Fisher um, slip-on shoes sold for $26.95. Lots of variety. Shoes, plush, hard toys, clothes, uh, kitchen stuff. American Eagle shorts. Again, we use the word like distressed if there's that little stuff in it um but these had holes so i usually put the word destroyed in there they still sell sold for ten dollars robert picked this up at a recent um, estate sale it was a midland transistor code practiced oscillator i think he paid one to maybe three dollars for it sold very quickly for twenty dollars and sixty six cents I wrote on there that it was untested. I've already received feedback, and he, he put in the feedback that it worked perfectly. So, very nice. Barbie, I had a huge tote. It was like one of the first profit pile things that I attacked when I started going through all of the shelves down here. It was tons of Barbie stuff. Um, and I divided, divided it out into small lots. This was from 2015. It was cute because that center part, all of these different parts attached to the top of it. As you're seeing it right now, it was like a grill or a stove top, but you could put the fan on top and the fan would move. You could put the sink part on it and it lit up and made like bubble sounds. And then the fish tank also lit up. Just very unique. And it sold in less than a month for me for $22. Hydraulic women's jeans. Again, another brand we pick up quite often. Sold for $17.71. Walmart Bear Plush. This was from that huge estate sale that I went and was able to do a private pick out of the home for. Tons and tons of vintage stuff. Um, this was, um, so that was back in, I listed it in May. It took a while to sell and I took a best offer of $17. Peter Millar long sleeve shirt. It's a really good brand to pick up. It still took quite a while for this one to sell. It sold for $22. This was from that high bid estate sale that I won many years ago. I'm still selling stuff from it. And this was advertising plush. Most of the stuff that I picked up was that type of plush and mugs and cups and toys. Just, it was tons. Um, this is Sally Sliced Bread from some Flowers Bakery, sold for $8. I just showed this recently in a haul. This is a Wild Republic African Wild Dog Plush, sold for $11.66. Most of the stuff that I'm sharing with you are Ben's pickups, so I don't always say how much I paid for stuff because it's $1.89 a pound. So something like this, based on the price of the shipping that I charged, I probably paid maybe 40 or 50 cents for. All right, this must have been an estate sale pickup. I don't remember it. 
it's obviously missing like the reins to the horse or something the, the bright yeah the bridle part um this was marked hong kong which is why i picked it up oh i picked this up at an estate sale now i remember um i picked up several horse figures this one sold for fifteen dollars profit pile stuff this is kenner poison ivy I think it got set aside because initially it was just, it needed a good cleaning, um, which that's what I've been focusing on is, you know, spray cleaner, toothbrush, and a wash rag. And I get most things cleaned that way. Um, it sold very quickly for $12.10. Vintage Woody Woodpecker, been listed a long time. Pretty sure it was a Ben's pickup a while back. Sold for $12.20. This was from the last trip to the Benz. This was one of the Signature Series Webkins. They have a gold uh, emblem on their foot. And compared to like a multicolored one for most other Webkins, some of them do really, really well. I think I sold a Timberwolf $80 plus, I think. Um, this was the other one I picked up that day. And it sold for $20.20. Skechers. Picked them up at a yard sale probably for 2 or $3. Um, and they sold full price, which means they've been listed a while. So what I had done is done end and sell similar. My sale had not started yet. Because sometimes it, I do Monday through Thursday sales. And then Friday through Sunday sales. So on Monday when I'm doing my end and sell similars, the next sale doesn't start till Friday, so all of that stuff just stays at its regular price until the next sale. And it sold for $39.95 for a pair of sandals in February, well, in March. This is a viewer sale. This is Sherry with the two R's. That's how I'm going to refer to you, Sherry. Um, Sherry bought two pairs of jeans for me. These Lee's jeans for $9.85 and these Gloria Vanderbilts for $7.69. So thank you for making them gone for me, Sherry. Paris Blue shorts. Y'all, shorts, tons of them. Sold for $11.89. Gap women's jeans sold for $17.71. Also, you see how all of these jean sales have just kind of the... Uh, the Profit has just piled up on them. Commonwealth Pink Rabbit Plush sold for $17.95. Hasbro Tell Me Tots Baby Dolls. Um, both of them talked. I had a video showing that they talked. I think one made like a crying sound maybe and the other one said mama. Um, they needed some uh, cleaning, which I put in my uh, description. And they sold for $15.25. Again, they were in my profit pile. So it took me a while to get to them. I think I had one listed. And then I found the second one. And that's I ended it and did um, sell similar. And it sold like that. Dracula and Vampire Plush. These were from Universal Studios. Not the greatest quality, I don't think. But they still sold. $9.86. I can see these are stuff we picked up at a thrift store. I'm going to be doing a haul on it probably later today. Um, this is from Toys R Us. It was a pink penguin plush listed in January and sold for $15. Disney Princess and Prince figure lot. I had a huge tote, again, that was full of um like the poly pocket size dolls and just a lot of this type stuff some of it had the little rubber clothes some of it had the clip-on clothes some of them had the magnet clothes so i spent probably three hours separating everything out i had several different lots of these because i had duplicates and different guys and just it was a whole lot of work but it has been paying off because I've been selling quite a few of the lots that I put together. Um, 
These were three inch size dolls and they sold for $17.95. I think this is a viewer sale. For some reason, I think she sent me a message. So I just wanted to go ahead and thank her, it, even if she's not a viewer. But thanks so much, Tisha. Tisha bought this Thermafit jacket and a Boontoon uh, melon, Melamine um, Divided Bowl. She paid $20.62 for the two of them. So thanks, Tisha. Cuddle Whip Brown Bear Plush with a little plaid bow. Um, listed a year ago. Finally sold $11.66. Now, this was just adorable, and it, it, I finally, it took a while, you know, sometimes when you're doing Google Lens, you just kind of got to take different angles, close up, far away, and I finally figured out that its name was from a Dreamland series. Very cute, and it sold almost instantly for $20.20, her name. She was, I don't know if I have the date here or not. Yep, 1994, but it's not a doll I had ever seen. And y'all know, I like the Mattel and the Fisher-Price and the Play School um, dolls. Similac Tolerance Teddy Bear. I find these on occasion, not a whole lot. I guess at some point when you bought formula, you maybe you could mail this in or it came with the formula. I had quite a few, but I think this is the end of it. Um... And I think these were from the Hybrid Estate sale. And I just ended up listing them individually. The thing is, is I remember I kept having some issues with this when I was trying to cross list it to the other platforms. I think because the word Similac is in it and they think I'm trying to sell, um, you know, baby formula. You know, I had the same issue on the other platforms when I'm trying to sell like pharmaceutical promotional type items also. So a lot of these just ended up staying only on eBay. Um, but it sold for $16.16. .16. And last but not least is this Toy Factory Pokemon Charizard plush. This one was odd because it had those little foam pellets in it. Super light. But you can't really, like, put those in a poly bag. You shouldn't put them in a poly bag. Um, so it needed to be shipped in a box um, just because, you know, the, the wings had a little bit of, uh, like, plastic stuff in it to keep it. It still had some uh, bins and stuff in it. But make sure when you're listing stuff like this or vintage plush that's really, really stiff, consider putting them in boxes because um, a lot of times if you push too hard on it, you're probably going to break the fabric or break a seam um, just because they are so stiff or, you know, like this was overfilled with like styrofoam pellets. Just, I, I tend to ship a lot of my plush in boxes, a lot of it in poly bags too, but um, if I have any suspicion that it could get damaged, um, just by the rough machinery or heavy stuff being piled on top of it. I tend to put them in boxes. All right, y'all. Another weekend done. This week's been ebbs and flows. You know, I, I had a couple of really good days and then I had a terrible day. Part of the game. Um, going to just keep doing what I'm doing. Trying to list 2530 every day. And, you know, I... If I see an offer, if I get an offer and it's not quite where I want it to be, but close, I think I go ahead and accept it because I think, you know, the, the more offers that you accept, it just kind of bumps you up in the algorithm and makes eBay happy. So, I, you know, I'm going to do things like that just to get my stuff moving and hopefully get my sales back up to where they were pre-vacation. Um, but just keep plodding along, y'all, but get to work. Bye.